In English, there are two common ways to tell the time. The first one I'll call the easy way. Why is it called that? Uh, probably because it's very easy. You just say the hours first and then the minutes second. There's no need to say and or anything else. For example, what's the time? It's 6.20. Do you have the time? It's 1.22. What time is it? 4.20. Do you have the time? It's 10.24. What time is it now? The time is 3.54. Do you have the time? It's 12.43. Hmm, you're too good at this. How about this one? What time is it now? It's 2.03. Mm, because when we see zero for the time, it's normally spoken as O. So this one will be easy. What time is it? The time is 12.01. And now? It's 10.05. How about this one? It's 07.21. Not 07 this time, because for the hours, we don't say O. So this one, it's 7.21. 7.21. Precisely. What time is it? It's 14.10. The thing is that in English, we usually use the 12-hour clock, not the 24-hour clock. Therefore, we need to subtract 12 and say it's 2.10. What time is it? It's 2.10. How about now? It's 4.47. And now? It's 1.09. How about this one? The time is 2.05. And this one? 8.18. What time is it? The time is 2.41. Do you have the time? Yes, I do. The time is 9.53. Mm, you're very helpful. So, now let's look at what we're going to call the other way. This time, you say the minutes first, followed by the hour, like this. It's 20 minutes past 6. It's 22 minutes past 1. It's 20 minutes past four. And sometimes, to be short, we don't even say the word minutes, like this. It's 24 after 10. Or even, it's 24 past 10. How about this one? It's three minutes past two. It's one minute past 12. It's five past 10. It's 21 past seven. And how about this one? It's 10 minutes after 2. Let's have a look at some examples if the minutes are more than 30. If the minutes are more than 30, we say the number of minutes to the next hour. For example, It's 10 minutes to 6. It's 3 minutes to 12. It's 6 minutes to four. The time is 10 minutes to one. The time is 19 minutes to three. Okay, let's see if there's a difference between American speakers and British English speakers. American English, what time is it? It's 15 past 11. It's half past seven. It's 15 to nine. Okay, 15 to 9 or 15 before 9. But British English speakers would normally say, it's a quarter past 11. It's half past 7. It's a quarter to 9. Okay, let's look at the use of o'clock. We only use o'clock when there are no minutes. For example, it's one o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's eight o'clock. And then we get to some special times. For example, it's 12 o'clock. 
which we're more likely to say as midday or noon if it's at lunchtime, or maybe midnight if it's in the night time. Hey Carl, what time is it when an elephant sits on your car? Peter, it's time to get a new car! What time is it? It's ten past two. You know, this is so confusing. I've been asking people all day and I always get a different answer. <laughs> what are the most popular times to order a takeaway in the world? Well, according to a recent study, it's 7 p.m. and 2 a.m. Wow, 7 p.m., then I'm hungry again at 2 a.m. We call that the munchies. Do you have that in America? We do have the munchies. We have the munchies all the time in America. <laughs> Especially at 4.20. So, what time is it now? It's time to go now, Peter. Time flies when you're having fun. It surely does. But actually, don't go just yet. Make sure you subscribe first. <gasps> Bye. Goodbye. It's nine minutes past 13. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Keep it rolling. In that case... It's 12 minutes to three. It's three minutes to 12. It's 12.08. Again, that's meant zero, zero. Oh, it's noon. <laughs> you can't get the staff, really. Just read 12 o'clock, okay? <laughs> Take two.